The Missouri River is an attractive spot here in St. Joseph, but the beauty and calmness of the river can change quickly into danger as levels rise. News Press Now's Kyle Schmidt spoke with some residents and officials as the hazards of the river flooding continue to grow. Kind of a little bit of serenity, peaceful. I mean, you want to get away and clear your head a little bit come to the river. St. Joseph resident Rodney Odell comes down to the river and enjoys the sight of it. He can remember the flood of 1993 and has been keeping an eye on the river as it rises. In a press release on June 26th, Governor Parsons signed an executive order extending a state of emergency in preparation for potential Missouri River flooding. And on Friday, city officials closed the Riverwalk Trail as a precaution as water levels rise. Bill Lamar, emergency manager for the city of St. Joseph, has been keeping a watch on the river. Keeping a close eye on it and based off of what the predictions are, it should come in somewhere in the 24 foot range, which has pretty minimal impact to the city and to the region. The Mars said officials will continue to track flood predictions the Weather Service and NOAA are providing. Once river levels hit about 25 feet, new precautions and activations will be put into play. When asked about Donovan County on the Kansas side of the river, Lamar said they should be in pretty good shape because they already had their federal levy raised. This will be the first time that is tested since the flood in 2019. Back in St. Joseph, resident Kenneth Reeder, who lives right next to the river, built his home in a special way to avoid flood damages. I've been here on the river for about 40 two years so um, after the flood of 93 I built my house hurricane style Florida style where I'm up on a foundation and for those new to a flood threat Odell brought his own tips we'll stack up on some water and maybe some essentials because you never know stay tuned to news press now as we continue to bring you updates on river levels reporting for news press now I'm Kyle Schmidt